I feel like all my kids grew up and then they married each other. It's every parent's dream. So let's break down Michael Scott's behavior and where it shows up on the disc system and maybe you'll learn a little bit about it and how to identify this in other people and then also how to deal with high I, high S's. I started with this first scene because I think this really encapsulates who Michael Scott is and how his disc profile shows up. He wants to have his people all around him and he wants to have them happy. Those are two huge qualities of a high I, high S, and they show up quite often with people. Pam Caso. Sorry I'm late, I had to race across town. Oh, Michael. Wow. You did these freehand? Yep. My God, these could be tracings. Oh. Look at this one. Wow. You nailed it. How much? What do you mean? I don't see a uh, price. Um, you want to buy it? Well, yeah. Yeah, we have to have it for the office. I mean, there's my window and there's my car. Is that your car? Uh-huh. <sighs> that is our building. and we sell paper. I'm really proud of you. So let's start with this clip to really show what the high S is because I've got lots of examples of the high I. The high S wants to have harmony, they want to show up for people, they're loyal, and so that small little line that he said, sorry I'm late, I had to drive across town. This is what a high S will do, they will really go out and get go out of their way to, to show up for people. They'll really give a lot of themselves, and so for him to show up for something he knew that was important for Pam completely shows what a high S he, that he is. Good morning, Michael. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not Michael. I am Willy Wonka. Good morning, Mr. Wonka. Here are your messages. Why, thank you very much. <gasps> what are those? What are those? Tell me, please. Jelly beans. No, no, no. They are not just ordinary jelly beans, little girl. These are extraordinary jelly beans. The Willy Wonka golden ticket promotional idea is probably the best idea I have ever had. It's probably the best idea anybody has ever had. This Willy Wonka clip is very much showing what a high eye does. High eye loves to be the center of attention. They always want there to be a party. They want people around them. And this is just him having a fun idea and um, shows his confidence as well. High eyes are very, very confident. Okay, I know that you're mad at me and you're mad at all How of them. How are you going to fix the company? Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. We gonna, we're going to go out there during this break and we're going to come back with a plan. Okay. We're going to come back with a plan for you. It's a 45-day plan. 45 days to get us back on track. Yes. Yes. 45 points. It's a 45 day, 45 point, one point per day. We get to 45 points, we're back in business. <laughs> and you can take that to the bank. And limo lady, we are going completely carbon neutral. <laughs> I love you, New York. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Now this clip is really showing off what happens with this high eye that he is. 
um, with this huge crowd of people. They get to see him. He gets claps. He gets an ovation. He gets all this attention. This is why he does a little spin at the end. And the other part is, is they often talk and have no idea where they're going, what they're saying. They are very external. High eyes will process verbally, and this is what can throw some people off who are internal. They're like, why are you talking? Just figure it out and come back to me. They are going to be outward and expressive, and Michael Scott absolutely is. Did somebody say baby back ribs? Hmm? Hmm? I don't think Christian has time for that. I have time. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back. Right down the street. Mm-hmm. Kenneth Road, born and raised. Spent my whole life right here in Lackawanna County, and I do not intend on moving. I know this place. I know how many hospitals we have. I know how many schools we have. It's home, you know? I know the challenges of this counties up against. Here's the thing about those discount suppliers. They don't care. They come in, they undercut everything, and they run us out of business. And then, once we're all gone, they jack up the prices. I know. It's, it's bad. It's terrible. It is. You know what? It really is. Uh, true. I don't know. I guess I could give you guys our business, but you have to meet me halfway, okay? Because they're expecting me to make cuts. Well... Corporate's gonna go ballistic, but uh, you think we could, Jan? I love this Chili's video because it really shows what a great salesman that Michael Scott was and is. He knows how to connect with people, and that's really what a high I does. His boss here is a high D. She just wants to get down to it. Why are we wasting time? Let's get to it. Let's overcome objections. And that was never going to work. Michael's way of schmoozing was perfect in this situation. And I and it really highlights why high eyes are good salespeople. Dwight Schrute. Hello, trader. I think you have the wrong number, Michael. I want you to listen to me, friend. And I want you to listen to me good. I am going to come at you, and I am going to come at you hard. I am going to steal all of your clients, and then I am going to kill them in front of you. Michael, I'm just getting hardcore. Finally. Yes, and hear me, Dwight, when I say I brought you into this world, and I can take you out. High eyes, high S's are very, very loyal people in most cases. They are very people-centric. That's what those two styles are. The D and C are very task oriented. So for her, Dwight to betray him is huge. And this is why it stings him so bad. He trusts people, he loves people, and for them to backstab is the worst thing that can happen to a high I, high S. Whatever you want, just like always, whatever you want. Whatever I want, it's never whatever I want. It's fine. When I wanted to see Stomp and you wanted to see Wicked, what did we see? We saw. We when I said that I wanted to have kids and you said that you wanted me to have a vasectomy, what did I do? And then, oh. when you said that you might want to have kids and I wasn't so sure, who had the vasectomy reversed? And then when you said you definitely didn't want to have kids, who had it reversed back? Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. I did. Okay. You have no idea the physical toll the three vasectomies have on a person. And I bought this condo to okay. fill with children. I am so sorry that I don't want to bring kids into this screwed up world, okay? I'm but look, too. if you want to have kids, then fine, you win. <laughs> Let's have a kid. Do you mean it? you want to have a kid? <sighs> now with the high S, they will give and give and give until they have got nothing else to give. And I love this because this is where, where it shows up they all have breaking points and then they explode and this is what happens during the dinner party and uh, the vasectomy is a perfect one he had it he undid it he had it he undid it snip snap snip snap fantastic line but this is what a high s will do so treat your high s as well even though they're willing to give a lot they will break one day if you keep taking and you do not help replenish them a rap a rap rhyme an urban thing an urban yeah stanley you want to help us out with that Stanley, Earth is Stanley. Not me. Yes, you. Come on, Stanley. Put your little game down and, and join the group. No. Stanley, we're do having a little Leave brain me alone, damn we're it. having a brainstorm session. Did I stutter?
Good, this is good. I'm going to grab a glass of water. Stanley Hudson, you are fired. Are you serious? I am serious. We are all serious. You are fired like a heart attack. You're firing me over three words. Yes. Have you lost your mind? Do you think I'm going to let you do this to me? Hmm. I've watched you screw up this office for 10 years, and I'm filing a lawsuit, and I'm going to tell them about every stupid thing you've ever done up in this office. All right, all right, okay. You know what? Now you know how I feel. This was a fake firing. Lesson learned. Good work, everybody. Very nice. So I'm not fired. <sighs> That's it. And uh, do you have anything to say to me? Oh, yes, I do. You are out of your damn little pea-sized mind. What is wrong with you? Do you have any sense at all? Okay. Do you have any idea how to run an office? Yes. Every day you do something stupider than you did the day before. That's and I think right. there's right. no possible right. way right. he can right. top that. Okay. But what do you do? You find a way, damn it, to top it. You are a professional idiot. Hey, stop it! Okay, everybody out. Who? Yeah, everybody, except Stanley. I don't understand why you keep picking on me. Oh, for the love of God. You just do, and I don't know why, so please help me understand. The high S wants respect. High I's want to be liked, and high S's want to be respected in general. This is why this was so hard for Michael, where Stanley backtalked him in front of everybody. He lost a lot of respect, and this is what he can't really handle, and this is why he flipped out and tried everything he could to get the respect back. Who's getting married? Nobody. Somebody doesn't tell me, I'm gonna start screaming. Hate, hate being left out. Whether it's not being picked for a team, or being picked for a team, and then showing up and realizing that the team doesn't exist, or that the sport doesn't exist. I should have known, poop ball? Oh man, I know how you feel. Third wheel. I have been the third wheel so many times in my life. My mom told me something once that made me feel a lot better. She said, the third wheel is what makes it a tricycle. What are you talking about? I am talking about your group date with Megan and Eric. At Tink's? Yes. Yeah. How'd you know about that? Well, did Stanley tell you? Stanley was on your group date? No, Stanley was with his wife. I waved at him, but he didn't wave back. <laughs> Does anybody else know about this? No. <laughs> there he goes, there he goes. So, what is the scuttlebutt? Anybody hear anything? Nothing? I got a little something something. I don't know if I should say. So just keep it to yourself. Then. Stanley is having a midlife crisis. Well, apparently, he and his wife were out dancing at a club for young people. Terry's out of town, Michael. Who? Stanley's wife, Terry. She's at an interior decorating expo in Philly. And Stanley hates crowds, kids, and music. I think you should check your facts. You stupid son of a bitch, you set me up. What are you talking about? Stanley's wife is out of town. She was with somebody. He was definitely with someone. Oh, was he? Well, who? His sister? <laughs> I don't get it! If that was his sister, then what they were doing was totally illegal. Drugs? Making out. It... Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. No, okay. No, it's okay. Never mind. Carry on. Stanley is having an affair. What? I am very happy right now. Thrilled, perhaps, to be a part of the office, to be a part of the conversation. When you have somebody's attention and their eyes are lighting up because they are very interested in what you have to say, that is a great feeling. And I experienced that firsthand today. It is wonderful to be the center of it. Being left out of the gossip, out of everything that's going on with everyone else is super painful. High eyes do not want to be left out because they are very verbal. They want to be included and so not knowing what's going on can be very, very tough. 
Now, not all high eyes want to get into the middle of gossip because that's a whole different drama, but this makes complete sense. Being left out of the loop, being left out of what people are talking about can really hurt that high eye. They want to be included. Remember that. What's this? These are the closing ceremonies. Step up. Um, here on the top one. Congratulations to Michael because he closed on his condo. So, gold medal. I don't really know what to say. Um, I'm not one for making speeches, but uh, my heart is very full at this moment. And for Dwight Schrute, the silver medal. Get on up here, Dwight. Silver medal. Yeah, not as good as gold. Why are you playing the national anthem? Um, because your condo's in America. Oh. What the hell is that? Those are the doves. The reason I pulled this Olympics clip is because I think this is a fantastic way to deal with high eye. Jim is very smart, um, realized the best way to deal with Michael walking in and their office Olympics was to make Michael the, the center point of it up, of it all. He put him up on the pedestal, he gets the gold. Michael still doesn't really know what's going on, but he's getting attention. Everyone's looking at him, he loves this, and he does tear up because of everything that's going on. So those high eyes, they want to be loved, they want attention. High S's, this is where he's a little bit more high eye. High S's don't necessarily like a lot of attention. They want recognition. And this is why I think he's a higher I than he is an S, but he, he's still high on both of these. High S's actually want recognition in private, one-on-one, -on -one, where high eyes love the limelight. They want to be out there. So Michael is m much more of the high eye, but this is how you deal with them in a tough situation like this is, is put them in the spotlight make them included, and they're probably going to forget whatever else was going on. Oh, Daryl, you are a good worker and a good man. I just, you know, times are tight. And I just don't think corporate's going to go for this right now. High I's and high S's do not like confrontation. So this scene with Daryl, I love this because it shows that aspect so much. He had to look up on the internet some ideas. He had to really push himself to do this. And you've seen this many times in the shows where he avoids confrontation. And this is what makes, what shows that he's not a high D profile. Jim is willing to have confrontation. Uh, Daryl's willing to have confrontation. Dwight's willing to have confrontation. Those are qualities that show up in the higher D profiles. So this really shows that quality. walking Phyllis down the aisle was supposed to be the highlight of the wedding. And now the wedding has no highlight. This scene at the wedding really shows just the downside of some of the higher eyes where they have to be the center of attention. There's a lot of things going on with Michael Scott and he does need a lot of help and he has some things that he needs to work on. And this really shows that, that willing to upstage people and whatever for attention. Obviously, this is a fictional character, but we know people like this in life.
No, God, please, no, 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 no. Probably one of the most iconic lines from Michael Scott is his whole no when he finds out that Toby is back. I love this line and it throws some people off as far as like, is this out of character? And it's actually not because what he sees for Toby is Toby is spoiling the fun. He is messing with the family. And so he does not want this person messing up. He wants harmony. High S is love harmony and um, Toby is messing that up. He's not allowing all these fun things and activities to happen. He is a party pooper. Um, and that's just, this is where Michael is just flipping out. And it is slightly out of character for him to be forceful and with that no, but it does make sense that that's his breaking point. It's the person that he's so glad he got rid of. So earlier on when I was watching The Office, this one did feel out of character. Now that I understand the disc better, it does completely make sense. And if you notice, I'm not pulling any clips from season one. Michael Scott is a different person in the first season. I think he's more of a DI, and they softened him up quite a bit um, in the second season, which made sense, and I think he became a much better character. So that's my take on Michael Scott. If you have any thoughts, let me know. I'm gonna be working on some of the other characters here pretty soon, and I hope you learned something. Okay, well, I did not get the job in New York. But I got the real prize, domestic bliss. Jan made me breakfast this morning. Well, she bought the milk.